Hello fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. Today we're going to go do uh, levels 7, 8, and 9 of the uh, epic fish. We've got a river and a couple lakes. And let's see what we're going to look for. Alright, so we got a is that Yasurian bullhead. It's going to be on level 7. And we're going to be using a worm for that. Japanese Acha perch. Um, it's going to be a lake. We're going to be using a krill for that one. And the sweet fish. Also going to be using a krill. And it's on the top on a lake. So all of these we're going to be using my fly fishing method. So let's get started. So level seven. And we're going to switch that guy over to a worm. And of course, always use the gold. Always use the best one. Best rod, best reel, best lure, best bait. Everything the best. If you can afford it. If you can't, then use what you can afford. So we are going to aim for the swirls. Those are the swirls, not the bubbles. But we're going to go for the swirls. Um, and we're going to use the worm, gold worm. Bring your line really short. Just pressing your thumbstick up to bring it short. And nothing there. You seen a swirl over there a minute ago. Nothing there. So if you don't get anything from the swirls, cast out to other places. I usually do about five to ten casts. If I don't get it after about five or ten casts, then I'll reset my fish. And I've got a base. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a reset. Show you how you do a reset. Just switch from expert to hard and back to expert. Nothing. I didn't cast it far enough. Oh, there we go. And there it is. So the swirls, once you catch a fish, the swirls will go away. But if you can kind of remember where you've seen the swirls. Hey, we got them. Um, this kind of spot where you've seen them. So if you don't end up catching them, if you catch something else, like a bluegill or something, then cast to where you've seen your last swirl. And uh, just try to hit all the different swirls. And you can, you can always just reset like I did. So, All right. So now let's go to location number eight. All right. So this one's kind of a dark level. Might be a little hard to see. There's some swirls over there to the left. So I'm going to put that guy on the krill. Press right one time. Bring the line short by pressing my thumb stick up. And I'm just going to cast out there where those swirls are at. Not an instant bite, so it's not there. It's another swirl. Not an instant bite. Another swirl over there. Not an instant bite. As long as it's close, it'll It'll turn red if it's, if it's there. So I'm going to cast a couple of different places. Just to see if it's out there. And if it's not, then I'll do a quick reset. And do one more over here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and reset. Look for some swirls. There's a swirl there. I didn't cast far enough. There. Right there. Let's see if I can get to that swirl out there. It might be too far. If you go too far, you can bring it in to about where it was at. 
didn't turn red, so I'm going to go ahead and just bring it in. I think I've seen one way out there. No, not there. Let's see about it. Alright. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and reset. Wait for some swirls. Nope, oh, there's one over there. I'm way over to the right. one right down the middle, way out there, and see if it does anything. Nothing. That chair's kind of squeaky tonight. I don't know if you can hear that. Alright, let me reset. These lake levels aren't quite as easy as the river levels, I've noticed. Rivers, it's like almost instant. <laughs> These lakes sometimes a little bit of a Oh, there we go. We got some fireworks going on. Up there. Maybe that'll attract them. <laughs> uh, nothing. There's not much that are going to hit on a krill here, so uh, you can almost guarantee that if you get a bite. And it's it's an instant bite. It's kind of like the other epics. It's you cast it out there, and your line turns red instantly. And every once in a while, make sure that you're still using the krill. I've accidentally pressed to the right and pressed to the left before and switched my bait. So and I just check every once in a while, make sure I'm using it. I don't see any swirls out there, so I'll just cast out to where the bubbles are at. And nothing. Nothing. Oh, there's a swirl way out there to the right. Let's see if I can get it out there. Oh. Nope, I cast it to the left. That's a little bit better. Nothing. A swirl out there. It's kind of hard to see on this dark level. I'm not a huge fan of the dark levels. How about yourselves? Are you... Do you like these... Dark levels, or do you like the nice bright level? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reset. I see something straight ahead there. I went way too far. Let me bring it up to it. Nope. there it's not as epic as my last few videos where <laughs> I've gotten them like on the first or second cast almost every time but that just shows you that it's not always that easy sometimes you got to work for it cast around As long as you're using the gold bait, though, you can track them from quite a ways away. Not way too far. Let me bring it up a little bit. Nope. Let me see if I can get right there. This not cooperating at all. Oh, there's a couple over here to the right. Let me cast over there. Mm. 
Yeah, no. When I was researching this, there was actually quite a few of these. But I am not getting any on this. And it was I was almost every time it was on a swirl. Oh, there we go. There we go. That one was not a swirl, but let me see. I couldn't see a swirl. I'd run out there. But I mean, like I said, hardly anything bites an acryl on this level, so if you get a bite, that's probably your fish. Probably the epic. There it is. Gotcha. Alright. Alrighty. Let's go to the next level. Level 9. It'd be a little bit brighter actually see what we're doing yay much better I'm on my new boat let me grab my fishing pole make my line short pressing my thumb stick up we're going to go ahead and keep the krill on there and on these um let's see what we're looking for the sweet fish um, they're on the top using a krill and these ones i actually didn't catch too many on the swirls so on these i just kind of cast out there and see if I get a bite. I mean, you can catch, you know, you can cast to the swirls, um, but I really wasn't getting anything on the swirls on this level, so. I think I got one around the swirl, so. But the rest of them I just kind of cast out there. And did a little fly fishing. And, yeah, usually... Almost every reset I got at least one. Not every single one, but almost every one. So, hey, there we go. Got a sweet fish. Yep. There we go. So the second one was a little bit harder to find, but the uh, first one and the last one here was pretty easy. Um, hopefully this helps you find the epics that you're looking for. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll also leave a link to my spreadsheet um, down in the description. I've, I've made a new column on my spreadsheet to where uh, I'll put where the videos are at. So if you're looking for a specific epic, um, you can go to my spreadsheet and the video will be in there where the epic's at. And I will, uh, I'll keep that up to date as I make new videos and as I fish for more fish. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.